growing up on the West Coast, I think one of the greatest privileges I've had is being so close to the ocean. So one gloomy and slightly moody Sunday morning at 6am, I, in typical Brown Island girl fashion, decided I was going to drag my family to the beach so that we could paint, inhale some salty ocean air and get in a crispy fried sunburn. What are you doing? I was out making moves. <laughs> The East spoke the same, had the same dream, same pain and same feelings. Staring at the sea and what was left of me. constant battles against gravity, I've always felt more at home in water-based environments with sports and everything. So naturally, as Moana also famously says, the line where the sky meets the sea called out loud and clear to me as well. Each led like sheep stepped foot to sea, drowning oh so patiently, Sam people sit and wait anxiously. In contrast to the present, we did visit the beach quite frequently when we were younger, specifically every Saturday morning for intense training back when we were still into competitive swimming. And as one might expect, that experience was more my coaches screaming at us, telling us to pick up the pace while we drowned in our own sweat, rather than your average blissful beach day experience. But looking back on it now, I feel like those are things that have really shaped us into who we are today. And being back here almost makes me feel nostalgic, even though it's the recent past. And the adorable dogs trotting along the beach being adorable just made this experience so much better. So after collecting shells and capturing what 25 years of being married to your best friend could look like, we found the perfect spot to start painting. And painting while you're fighting against the strong, salty morning breeze is one considerable feat. But my sister and I tried to capture what was in front of us the best we could. So for me, the ocean and for her, Tati. We even had another furry member join our painting crew. And I really wish we could have swum in the ocean like we usually do. But unfortunately, there were red flags put up all across the shore that morning. If not, we'd be right there in the ocean, like the mermaids our mom claims us to be, resulting in days of getting salt out of our matted hair, but so completely worth it. There's something so beautiful about the little things, and I think we tend to forget that when life gets so busy. I know that firsthand myself. Enjoying every moment of joy that we can find, even as simple as they may be, like coming to the beach on a Sunday morning, painting, spending quality time with my family, even though we spend almost every waking hour of the day together, has its own kind of magic. So whoever you are and wherever you may be, I hope you too find the little Easter eggs of joy in the everyday and in the ordinary or at the very least, this video brought you some. There's no tears? Oh. 
And hold it.